Hello everybody. Now this is fourth video in this series. Here in this video we will understand how to make the model. The model which we will be discussing is Arima model. Before we start let's have a look over here in the previous video we tried different methods to make the data stationary and this is the last method where we got the p-value of 0.07 which was pretty well. Now the time comes where we need to start with making the model. To make the model, Arima is the best suited model for time series and that's what we are gonna learn today in this particular video. To make the model, we can use either stationary data, the data which we transformed and made, made it stationary or we can start with the original one. So I am going to start with the original or base data. Once that we see, once we see that how to make the, how to develop the Arima model, then we can try to build the same model on stationary data or transform data. Why is that so? Because if you build the Arima model on transform data, you will have to again transform it back to the actual form, which will take some time and, uh, and just to avoid any kind of confusion, I'm going to start with the base data. So before we start, let's have a look on our original data. This is, this is how our data is looking like, right? Now let me make a subset of it. Subset, I will say air ARP data, ARP, ARP, let's call it ARP, okay? And then out of DF, I am just trying to passengers, I will do copy and here I would say deep equals to true so that my original data remains unchanged. So I'm done with creating this data frame. ARP dot head this is it now once i am done with this i will create two more variables into it where i would differentiate by one and i would differentiate by 12 as well why by 12 because in the beginning we saw that the data is having trained pattern as well as seasonality right and this seasonality is on 12 months so if we do it on uh, if we differentiate by 12 that will help in reducing the seasonality okay so that's why i will create both of those variables over here and as and when needed we will use that okay now here let's call it arp difference one first difference let's call it first diff and for that i will use arp arp dot passengers and here i would just say diff so in this you don't have to use the shift thing and minus thing it does rest of the things automatically okay now the next one which i'm going to create is diff 12 12 diff let's call it or maybe let's call it dill diff 12 and in this i will put 12 okay now here is what we got Next, we are going to start with building the Arima model. To build the Arima model, first we need to import this. So we're gonna say from stat models.tsa dot arima model import arima. Okay. I'm done with importing this. So I will not import all the libraries at once. I'll import them as and when it is needed so that you would have the context which library is needed for what purpose. Okay. Now, once I'm done with importing this, I'm going to build the model. So when you build the model, first thing which you need to provide is the data. And for data, we require the train and test data, right? train and test data before i reach to that point let me just show you a version okay so over here i'm just going to use let's let's for example let's try to use this data and after this what we need to use is let's see all the parameters so you see here you have to supply the data then you have to supply the order so for order it's, you see here it also says auto regressive integrated moving average so this is the full form of your arima model and that takes pdq as order 
if you come over here for order we require pdq now let's try to understand what exactly this is right so for that i'll take you over here here if you see arima is itself is a combination of three models one is ar then i then ma let's understand each of them ar stands for auto regressive and it is indicated by p i stands for integrated and that is in indicated by d ma stands for moving average and that is indicated by q so this is how we call it arima model now let's uh, try to understand how to get the value because here in the model you need to supply you would require to supply the value for order so the value which you would be supplying that will be for p d and q now let's understand how to find its values so to find the value first let's start with d d is nothing but integration so what does it mean you remember this is the this is how we have the data frame and when we differentiate it this is how we get right we just shift it by one and then we find the difference so by how many steps we are shifting it one so here the value for d will be one when you shift it for 12 months the value for d will be 12 what by whatever interval you shift the data that will go in d next comes is auto regressive model so to find ar value we check the pacf pacf is nothing but partial auto correlation fact function okay then comes ma moving average which is indicated by q and to find that we use the acf now i will not go in mathematics how to find this mathematically to keep it simple and specific i'll i'll try i'll go and try to find it in python itself okay now let's go back over here so here we require the uh, order values for that what we need to import is from stats models dot graphics dot some plots plot tools i guess import plot oops, import oops, graphics then then it should be ts plots import plot acf and plot pacf both of these two things i am importing all right now once we are done with importing this let's try to plot the data so first we are going to build our arima model in context of first diff right so here what i will do is i will use my data let's call it arp and here the value which i am going to take is passengers not passengers exactly it will be first diff and because it has any value so i'm just going to say drop na drop and i'm just waiting for it to complete to do the auto complete otherwise it will just give you the error and then it takes the value for lakhs so i'm going to keep the value for lakhs is 20. if you if you want me to cover this thing in detail let me know in the comment section i'll try and cover that in detail make a separate video for that so here is what we got for pacf so let's see how to find the PSEF value. So you see this shaded area that is insignificant area outside a area outside of this shaded one that is called the significant area. So the point where these lines are exceeding to this insignificant area that that is something which we're going to consider, right? So this is zero. This is one at first it is exceeding then here at downside also here also it is exceeding. So we can try different uh, combination of it. So first P value which I am going to take is this is the value for P. All right. PSEF. So value for P I would have is. I would have value for p is 1 okay 
now let's try to find the value for q because for d we already have the value so to find it we're gonna say plot acf and the same thing okay rest of the things are going to be same so here also it is saying the first one is out of the insignificant area then second is nothing then third right so i can try with first and or maybe third right first second third i can take it third as well q equals to three and d value for d we already have as one right now this is the value which we got for p uh, p q and d or p d q right now next thing which we need to do is find the uh, i mean make a train test is a train do a train test split so that on train data we will train the model and then on the test data we will test the model so let's see that in the next video